until I elevate my bank account, I'm on a budget. <laughs> Hey creators, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Before I start this video, I do want to announce the giveaway winner. She's gonna be on the screen right here. Thank you so much for actually entering the giveaway, old and new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. And I will be reaching out to the giveaway winner to send her her Tom Ford book. I'm so excited about this because I wanna see where she puts it. I feel like she should, she should post a picture so we can see because you guys know I wanna put this book everywhere. I'm obsessed with it. And there's gonna be more giveaways in the future, so don't worry about it. I just appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for entering and you guys have made my day when I hit 5,000 subscribers. Like, I can't believe it. This has been three months in the making. So it's like, it hits me every day, but I'm so thankful for your support and all your feedback and all your quality comments. Like, I feel like I'm getting to know you guys through the comments and I really appreciate you guys so much and I'm happy that you guys actually love my content. So that makes me really happy. All right, guys. Whew. So this video is on how to shop Facebook Marketplace. If you guys have been following me from the very beginning, you know that 85% of my large furniture, actually, I would say about 98% of my furniture, I'm looking around my um, apartment right now, I would say 98% of my furniture pieces are actually from Facebook Marketplace. So the first tip is definitely find your aesthetic. Like I said in my last video, finding your aesthetic will help you to know exactly what to look for. And also it helps you keep your apartment cohesive if you have a mood board or a vision. So once you found your aesthetic, you definitely want to go to Facebook Marketplace at least three times a day and also make sure that your bank account is ready for this because you want to buy items as soon as they go up. If you wait on it, you're going to be too late. I've done this multiple times and sometimes when I'm even the first or I would consider the first person, the items still go. So definitely check Facebook Marketplace at least three times a day if you're on the hunt for something in particular. So let me give you guys an overview on what Facebook Marketplace actually looks like. So this is pretty much how Facebook Marketplace looks. This is the Facebook Marketplace tab within Facebook. And this section right here is where you can browse, you can shop. So right here is where we have the filters for where to search for your items. I definitely recommend if you live in a small town, hit the option for the big city that is closest to you. Make sure that you're able to actually travel because sometimes the best items are not in your city. So I keep mine within a 40 mile radius. Sometimes it goes out of range, but I'm okay with taking the drive if it's a great deal. I advise you that before you even start looking, you make sure you have transportation for your larger items. So if you go on Facebook Marketplace looking for a sofa, measure the vehicle that you have to see if it actually can fit that size sofa. If not, definitely go to either Home Depot, U-Haul, or any other trucking companies to see if you can rent a vehicle on the spot. What I do first is I see if any of my friends have a larger vehicle that I can just call up because this is a perfect time that you can actually have somebody go with you. So definitely make sure you have transportation to get these items because you don't want to have an item on here that you want so bad you pay for it and then you can actually go pick it up so definitely make sure you have transportation so since we're trying to look bougie on a budget and also classy we want to search the top designer pieces so I tend to search restoration hardware a lot because you never know you might find a deal on here so make sure to search the top designer pieces and see what deals you guys can find. 
Like for example, I absolutely love this crystal chand chandelier. This is really, really nice. This is what it looks like. It's $300. They actually brought down the price from $500 to $300, which I'm assuming it had to be thousands of dollars on restoration hardware. So that is really, really nice. And it says that it's like new and in great condition. So just browse around, see what you're looking for. They also have a lot of sofas, <laughs> slipcover sofas and cloud couches that are such a great deal because on restoration hardware this easily would price anywhere from three to five thousand dollars but this slipcover sofa is sixteen hundred and it's in great condition but it's used you got to remember that it's used so whenever you get your items don't forget to disinfect them that's what i do when i get sofas i remove all the cushions and i make sure to disinfect yeah this is really nice you can also ask the seller for more photos and also the dimensions of your item because you don't want to have your truck ready and then you might need a bigger one so definitely ask them the dimensions of everything and you can also search restoration hardware or the original site that sells this item if it's a brand new item to compare to see how it looks in great condition and to see how it looks fairly new or fairly used So this sofa was along my inspiration for the Restoration Hardware Cloud Sofa or all white sofa in, that I put in my mood board because I can't afford Restoration Hardware. So when I saw this, I was like, this is close enough. This, this looks perfect. It's gonna look great with some pillows on it. So this was $100 and originally, I think on Ikea's website, this love seat is $4.99. I could be wrong, but this is so nice and it's such a great temporary piece and even long-term, you could put this in a movie room or a room that you guys don't use that much. But yes, don't forget to remove all of the furnitures that have cushions in them. Remove the covers, put them in the wash, and also spray and disinfect the cushions that are on the inside. I did that maybe twice because I I'm scared. <laughs> I also got these bookshelves from Facebook Marketplace and they were $100 for all four sections. They actually are not just one um, structure. These top pieces come off and then these bottoms are actually a separate make than the top. So they kind of don't align, but we're on a budget. <laughs> and I wanted some really dark black bookshelves like my inspiration photos from Restoration Hardware. So this was fine enough. Until I elevate my bank account, I'm on a budget. <laughs> So yeah, I love the way that this looks. The only downside is I wish I, they didn't come with these holes, but I might fill them in. So yeah. You guys can see these bar schools. One of them I got from Facebook Marketplace. The other one I got from the Ballard Design Outlet, but I got this for a hundred dollars, I'm pretty sure. And this piece over here was the first piece that I ever purchased on Facebook Marketplace. It's a Mitchell Gold credenza. That's almost $3,000, I'm pretty sure, but I only got it for 300. So I'm so excited about that. I will be doing an in-depth apartment tour on everything that I got and some things might be changed in here, but I wanna save that for another video so you guys can get full details on everything. If you guys can't find an item or you lost an item, don't be discouraged. Just look every single day, at least three times a day. I don't know how many times a day my mom and I actually were on Facebook Marketplace. I would say maybe about 15, maybe. Like, you know how many times you check Instagram? That's probably how much I was on Facebook Marketplace, to be honest, because I really wanted to manifest every item in my new apartment because this was my first apartment. So I wanted it to look a certain way and I'm extra 
classic. So <laughs> I had to have what I wanted. I had to manifest it. And I also manifested these bar stools. Like this was a pipe dream. These bar stools are originally like 300 something dollars on Valor Design. They're so expensive for me, but I was able to get them for half the price. And I'm very happy about that because I probably would only spend 50 to $100 on bar stools. So definitely look multiple times a day and don't give up. Don't lose hope because somebody will have it. I remember looking for certain items and being like, oh, I lost out on that. And then two days later, there's another one just like it. So definitely keep looking. So when you message sellers, you definitely want to make sure that you are sounding like you are serious. You don't want to waste anyone's time, especially if it's a hot item. For example, like this item, let's say I wanted to get this slipcover sofa or chair. Instead of clicking the default options that says, am I interest I'm interested in this item. Is this item still available? Is it in good condition? Do you deliver? My message would say something like, hello, I am interested. Item, I am cash app slash PayPal ready. So this is very simple. It's to the point. You can even leave out the I'm interested in this item. Just put I'm cash app and PayPal ready and any other questions that you have to ask. What you want to do is negotiate if possible. And once you negotiate, make sure it's within a reasonable price range. You don't want to offer 300 on something that's 500 so keep it at a middle ground so they have some room to do a counter offer if they if their counter offer is way too high for you and you're still okay with getting the item make sure to act fast after your counter offer so if you offer 150 and they are firm on their 175 and you want that item just tell them yes and take the l and just decide to buy it anyways because you might not get that deal somewhere else so I'm going to show you an example of a message that I sent for the Kavik sofa that I got for my sunroom. So I'm going to show you guys what I said in the messaging. So I made a mistake by asking, is it available? I noticed that they weren't responding. So I said I'm cash app and PayPal ready. And I also included the day that I was ready to pick it up. They said, yes, I offered the amount that I thought was suitable for it, but they said that they had a higher offers. So I decided to go along with what they wanted. You can try to bargain with them, but also keep in mind that if they don't go any lower and you really want it, just go ahead and take their first offer and ask them their form of payment. Some people might want you to pay in person. Some people might want Cash App or Venmo. So just be prepared for all of the options. This tip goes hand in hand with asking them if it's available and laying down that you are Cash App, Venmo or Cash Ready. Once they let you know it's available and they're ready to proceed, don't sit on it. Make sure you arrange anything that you need to arrange and buy it right away cash app them send them the money or let them know in good faith you will give them cash in hand set up a time and a location once you figure out a time and a location and who you're meeting don't forget to ask somebody to go with you whether it's a partner or a friend make sure you go with someone even if it's in a neighborhood that you trust or even if it's in within your neighborhood never go alone it's very dangerous online and i wouldn't want to put you guys at risk so make sure you bring somebody with you and never go after dark and never go alone and make sure that you have somebody else that's outside of you knowing where you're going. So I normally send my address or my current location to my mom when I go to pick up items from Facebook Marketplace with my friend, just so you have somebody else that knows exactly where you are. All right, the last tip is 
Always remember to resell any items that you need. Don't just toss them for a new item that you're bringing in. Go on Facebook Marketplace and resell. I've actually sold two items on Facebook Marketplace. It's been a computer desk and also a credenza that I bought from Facebook Marketplace. Because when I finally got it in my home, it didn't go with the decor and the actual computer desk was way too small. So I think I ended up flipping the computer desk within two weeks and then the credenza within one week so make sure to resell your items what is a trash to you might be a treasure to someone else and you can bring in new items once you make room for when once you get rid of the old ones I'm sorry so make rooms for the new ones by selling the old so yeah All right, creators. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was so fun to make because I know you guys ask me a lot of the times when I'm referencing things in my apartment, where I get it from, and I always say Facebook Marketplace. So here's the video. It's pretty simple and easy to navigate. I hope you guys got some tips on it. Leave in the comment section below though, like, have you guys ever shopped Facebook Marketplace? And if you have, what is the biggest come up item that you purchase on there? Because I want to know because I love to hear it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!